<laughs> Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, oh, to what? the winter mid-season finale of oh. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. After Show. I'm very loud. Uh, <laughs> as always, I am your host, Kevin Becker. And joining me here in the studio is... Hi, this is James Hartman, guys. How's it, how's it going over there on the other side uh, of the uh, revelation full in human quake -dom? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I have no <laughs> idea either. I'm just kind of <laughs> crazy from do. this. No uh, I have no idea what just happened. Uh, Kayla, like Sarah, you guys, I'm a bit under the weather, so I might uh, cough a little bit tonight, but my body is still trying to, to handle that episode. I thought your body wow. was ready. Nobody's <laughs> body was ready. Uh, hi, I'm Mark Cirillo, and I'm wearing my underoos as outeroos, and I'm getting drunk on that. <laughs> <laughs> It's an exciting beautiful. night here at the Green Side TV. We are killing it with the professionalism. We are just, it's, it was so, time to propose a toast finale. to Marvel. To Marvel. Finale. To Marvel. So, thank, thank you. you. Guys. <laughs> So, we are all super duper excited to talk about this amazing jaw-dropping episode with all of you, but before we do, that means that we need people to chit-chat with. So, right now, jump on your cell phone, telephones, hop on the Twitter box, <laughs> all right, and invite everyone you can into our live chat, because later we're going to be answering your guys' questions. So, we definitely want to be able to talk to you, so take a second. That's all the time we got. So, <laughs> do it. Too much to talk about. That's all the time they got. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. The big thing about this episode is the final reveal that Sky is, in fact, Daisy Johnson, mm. a.k.a. Quake. Yep. Oh. Yes. <laughs> now, yes. In all of this revelation, we learned her dad's name is Cal, which probably means he is Mr. Hyde. Yes. Uh, there's so much going on there, but in the midst of all this, she made a decision. She made a decision to let her dad go when he was whooping on Coulson. Do you guys agree with that decision? Being with everything that we learned about her tonight, everything she's been through for the last season and a half, do you agree with her decision to let her dad go? I mean, I don't think she would have ever killed uh, have killed him. Like, he's her only actual biological family, and regardless of whether he's messed up or not, she still somehow loves him because mm -hmm. he's the first person who gave her full truth from the very beginning, from the get go. He, he didn't lie to her. Yeah, you know, nothing. he didn't lie to her, and that was the biggest thing with Sky's character. Everyone's always like went around the truth with her, you know? Yeah. And, he and she could always he, tell. He told it, he, yeah. he said it straight up, you know, straight mm -hmm. up how it is. Everybody has lied to her. Everybody from the team has lied to her. May has lied to her. Every single person on her team has lied to her. Or withheld the truth, if did. not yeah. blatantly lied. Yeah. A lie exactly. of omission is still a lie. Yeah. And I, def I, def yeah. I definitely I think that, <laughs> I definitely think she's going to seek him out. Um, rather than it was always like him trying to get a hold of her, I think it's going to be him her trying to get a hold of him now when mm -hmm. we come back um, from the mid-season. I think it's she's going to try to seek him out now because he has answers to all these billion questions <laughs> that just well, happened. And that is how they set it up because he yeah. was just like, I'll be waiting. Like, yeah, I'll exactly. be here waiting. Exactly. Yeah. He gave her those wise words that change is terrifying. Change numbs people. Change is, it just breaks you down. So, But change is good. Change is fantastic. <laughs> change is phenomenal. But that's, that's the thing that um, now that obviously like like rest in peace, Triplet is gone, she's going to need someone to run to. Mm -hmm. Because who that knows was, what the backlash is going to so be. It was sad. just so heartbreaking. That was oh. heartbreaking. And it was amazing how they did it. I mean, when she just, both of them, Raina and herself, just stood there. And then the reveal when she started, you know, the, and she you started see cracking. the tears while yeah, he started her disintegrating. Eyes. Yeah, she knew, so, she knew that yeah. he was. It was beautifully die. shot. It was, sure, the whole but, thing was just so well done. Yeah. You yeah. know, there was, there was been so much backlash from the first season about like the show is whatever you know whatever it's kind of middling and it could be any kind of sci-fi show but i think this this second season especially and tonight's episode proves that that's not the case anymore this is you know, marvel this is game changing this is huge so i i i am so excited but we're gonna get to that <laughs> later <laughs> now the it. other character who has been a major point in this season whether or not he's been on screen the whole time is Ward, and yeah. end of last season, we talk about it pretty much every episode, is Ward on a redemption arc. Ward <laughs> fulfilled his promise to Skye. Ward is now off with the 
existentially lost Agent 33. Yeah. Where do you think we're going to go with them, guys? How wounded is Ward? Like, <laughs> he got was shot like, a couple times. Because she <laughs> is really well trained now. Like, she could have killed him and she didn't. He, yeah. Why did she do that, though? I mean, no. I, I, I got excited I, when she I did kind of, Like, I, I really quite, did. I, I got happy. Sort of I hated like, Sky for a brief him. second when she did that. Yeah. I mean, really? I, 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 I didn't see. I was on her side. I was not on her side. I, I didn't want. Why did you shoot Ward? I mean, like. I've it, wanted it was, to shoot him forever. It was that immediate reveal that he wasn't, like, he wasn't against you, Sky. Like, he was trying to help you out yes, the entire no, time. Yeah, yeah, but for her, it's still creepy. It's like, yeah, you, you know, you, you killed all these her. people. Yeah, yeah exactly. the whole time. You've got to remember that there's a lot of this season we saw that she didn't. Yeah. Like, we saw a lot of Ward, like, the interactions, and we know his backstory. Right. All she knows about him is he kidnapped her and he tried to kill Fitz and Simmons. And while we know that there's a lot under that, she's only seen really the negative. And yeah, that's true. So as, as much as we might go, don't shoot him. Well, I, it's, it, it, for <laughs> some of us, it seems like the per, like, took him down. You're not going to pull any of your crap this time. Yeah. I, I guess in a way, him, uh, she, her shooting him was like a way where, where it's like, I'm in control. Yeah. It's like, I'm in control, and I decide what is going to happen now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which kind of makes sense in a sense. That's why she, sh uh, if I think that's why she shot him, it's because I'm in control, I'm going to decide what I want to do now. And she went after Reyna, and that's what she decided to do. And, and that would, makes sense, because it's like, I want to just cause you some pain. I'm not killing you, <laughs> but oh, she, I've been but wanting to hurt you for a long time. She shot him a bunch of times. <laughs> I know, it was but great. She shot him a bunch I of times. She, he, got, he had his hand there, she just kept shooting him. But here's God, the deal. brutal. We've seen I she's a it. good shot. If she'd wanted to, two between the eyes, he would exactly. have been down. Exactly. <laughs> well, um, no, but he didn't want him to What would have happened if, if died, she didn't shoot Ward? Like, would, have, yeah. would Ward have let her follow Reyna into under that? I don't into, know. I don't know. Ward is always Ward is in love with Sky. And that's a good point. But yeah, yeah, I don't know if like that maybe it was just to keep him from preventing her to find out to yeah. go where she wanted to go. Did she really, yeah. did she secretly at, really want to find yeah. out what would happen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I know, it just came to me. Yeah. I don't but know. but it, it's interesting, and I, I love that it opens up this extra storyline that we get to follow next season. Because now it's not, ooh, Ward's the bad guy, we go to him for information, and then we hunt him down. There's bigger fish to fry, and he's kind of not necessarily their biggest threat anymore. He's good as always. He's not Hydra. He's not. Uh, he's he's Ward. <laughs> he's good. He, he's he'll loyal, just, he'll capital just be, I. He'll just be a rogue yeah. agent. Yeah. He'll just be he's a rogue, just a rogue agent. agent. Which yeah. I mean, Which that's, seems that to be theory a lot has been now, up from him, a bunch of fans. He's Punisher. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no we did that I'm last week. Not really. No. No. Um, <laughs> but speaking of other fan favorites, uh, another character who we got a lot of new stuff that we were mentioning is Reyna. So yeah. they go down. They get what is. Please don't freak out. We're pretty sure a Terrigen crystal. It's a Terrigen <laughs> crystal. 100% yes. Yeah. Terrigen crystal. Did you see it? It just like opens up like a Norkid or like a clam or something, and then out comes the pearl. You're like, it spreads okay. out. Okay. <laughs> it sounds a little bit not nasty or naughty or something like that. You, but seriously. Your report cards in school says does not follow directions well, does it? <laughs> No, my report card says finds out very, very intricate words to express things. That's Don't hated. freak out, instant freak out. Don't freak out, he just <laughs> says a lot of words. But we see Reyna, we saw her eyes were, very, were yellow and cat-like. She's got claws. What do you guys think she's going to be? Because well, Marvel's I mean, opening up my, all of the B-listers. You guys mentioned this right before we went live. Yeah. yeah. Right. My immediate thought when it happened was... Say okay, it? so we, we thought, what if it's Tiger? God damn it! Tiger. God damn it, Mark! <laughs> but I like the cat lady. I wanted to. I, like I, wanted, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to. Be, <laughs> I had to say settle, it. Settle, uh, settle. I'm, I'm, I'm a cat in my second life, so let's calm down a little bit. Um, no, but I wanted to give um, James and Kevin this one, but my immediate thought was Tiger when it happened. But I was just like, Tiger's not inhuman, so it can't happen. Right. But then again. Oh, wait, wait, Quake is inhuman, so that is. Yeah. Yes. But right. Tyra's not inhuman, so what could she be? Right. What is Reyna? I have no <laughs> idea. Yeah, it was weird with the claws and the eyes. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, like, I mean. What is that? There's uh, Lockjaw is the answer. She's Lockjaw. She's, She's the yeah, dog. Yeah, she is. She is actually Lockjaw. I, don't, I yeah. mean, a lo I, I, one of you brought up last week. <laughs> That's so funny. One Mark's of you. <laughs> 
Sorry, one of you brought up last week, or it was a fan comment that I read on YouTube, was that um, Mac and Bobby are starting the West Coast Avengers, and if they introduce yeah, Tigra, yeah, the thing. <laughs> no, this is this was no, uh, there was, the a, there was just a comment on YouTube that I was reading. I read all your comments, you guys, and um, I saw this comment and. and having this like idea of maybe mm -hmm. they're hiding the West Coast Avengers like them opening that up so maybe if sh if Ren is Tiger that could, it could yeah. come into play that's the, where yeah. I went with that it would be, I was that like all I thought really was West Coast Avengers yeah they could have yeah. a, an extra spin-off <laughs> series that <laughs> is West Coast Avengers it could be very very cool. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that yeah. yeah. let's get one but since we're speculating <laughs> yeah. let's yes. keep it going let's go what if a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. becomes West Coast Avengers anyway wrong speculation James who keep going we've been on computer computers and phones for the 10 minutes between the show and our show, trying to figure out who is this blind guy at the uh, end. Uh, so. We're there already? Uh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We have gone through the points incredibly fast, it feels like. Because right this next point is going to take us forever. Oh, that's true. After this, after this one, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Kellen. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you. Fine, Kellen. Uh, so, basically, I, I, my. My my thoughts on this matter is that, and 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 Kevin shares similar thoughts, is that this person is Reader, and now Reader is an inhuman who um, basically has the ability of whatever he reads. And it's really ironic because he's blind, but he has he has the capability of reading. Um, comes to life, come comes to fruition. He does. He does. Know, I just Kellen that was didn't a funny, agree. Just, There's a MacGuffin. Power. There's a MacGuffin that lets him read, and everything that yeah, he reads. It's called Braille. Comes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, and he's also the person who uh, senses whenever a new human, a new inhuman, oh, comes into existence. It has to be him then, because, because that's exactly what he did and said yeah. in the episode. Precisely um, what he did. Another theory, which I'm taking out my phone for this one, a fan wrote that it could be. I'm it's getting not this. A phone, it's a Twitter box. It's a Twitter box. Twitter box. Yeah, make it a thing. It's a Twitter box. <laughs> oh, it's but really at Cla at Claudio, and the way he writes this is like Claudio. Um, <laughs> it, he says that it could be. I can't pronounce this. V Vitimus. Vitimus. Vitimus yeah. It could be Vitimus. The is only the, the, my only issue with the Vitimus theory is that Vitimus has tentacle-like yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. He has like and tendrils then he, hanging from his eyes. It's also saying I saw a list of Inhuman. Vitimus is the only blind and connects to Quicksilver. This is what at Claudio uh, said. Oh, connection huh. to Quicksilver. Interesting. Would be cool. They did then, announce today that there is a tie-in between Agents Age of, of Ultron Shield, and Agents yeah. and Agents of Shield. Yeah, that's true. So it could be. Very Finally, interesting. It be. So we'll have to wait and that. see. <laughs> but being said that we have to wait and see, here's the big one. There's a lot that happened this first half of the season. There's a lot more that's going to keep happening yeah. in March. Kill me. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> what do Such you guys want to see second half of season two? What do you guys hope we're going into? We've got through the quake and the start of the Inhumans bit. Is there a storyline you'd like to see that you could see easily set up by what we got? In humanity. Are there, are there, wait till I'm done. Are there characters you want to see? Oh. <laughs> I, I have to say, I mean, as soon as you were saying that, I instantly thought of, I was like, well, I'd like to see a little Jeremy Renner guest star and okay. some <laughs> Mockingbird meets Hawkeye. Like that, I just, that I want, that's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Is it just me or do I feel like they're going to return next um, where Sky is not part of S.H.I.E.L.D.? You think she'll leave? I think she'll leave. When she's now yeah. super. I, I think she's gonna leave. I think she's gonna just. Um, she's just gonna have. She went through a lot in this episode. I mean, she, meeting her father, finding out what happened to her mother, yeah. you know, this whole review of her powers. I think she's gonna leave and she wants to be alone. That's what, what I think. She's I don't think. She, I don't think that she's gonna leave immediately from the first. Or like, actually, I think that the first episode is gonna establish that that she's changed and everyone's gonna be like, well, what happened to Triplet? Tell us everything. She won't understand because she was already, you know, cocooned in the. Uh, but she clearly could see what was happening because as yeah. it was crumbling away, she was already teary-eyed. Like she saw everything, could not move, and could do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I don't know. It felt. And it, watching your friend die. And that, and that was her, that was her at the end when everything started crumbling. That was was that it was that yeah, no, it was, was that the was reaction of the of the crystal breaking or was that. Her and her her powers awakening. I think it's her power. I think I mean, if you look at the X Men mythos, it can they, these awakenings of powers can happen due to extreme emotional stress. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, her powers exactly. were awakened by the Terrigen crystal, yeah. 
but that's I think exactly it what I think manifested happened. because of extreme emotional stress. That's exactly what I think happened. That's it. I wanted some more of the Terrigen Mists. I, want, yeah. I wanted some more You're mists a little obsessed with the Terrigen, terrigen Mists. But we, we, <laughs> did mention, we did mention that the Inhuman <laughs> movie's not for bit. like four years, <laughs> so we have a slow burn. Well, did it, did it Marvel announce, I mean, I don't know if Marvel announced this, but I saw something online that, um, that Age of Shield is going to tie, on, tie in directly into Age of Ultron. Yeah, we just yeah, that's what, that's what we're Oh, you guys just talking about that? <laughs> we just yeah, mentioned that. I thought you were here for that. That, <laughs> <laughs> that, that happened. <laughs> but, you know what? Actually, that's a good point. We're going to catch Kayla up. While we do that, uh, why don't you guys... No, she's fantastic. Uh, why don't you guys go ahead and take a look? We're going to get to your questions in just a moment. We want to hear what you guys want to see in next season. But before we do that, here is an awesome collection of the great shows that are here on the stream.tv. Take a look at this and we'll be right back to talk directly to you guys. We'll be right back. in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. Just in case you missed it live. Oh, just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live, I'm doing something right now. So we're all super excited. This is dancing. So what would that be, like a seven? I cannot. I literally cannot. You guys have got to get it together. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Hate the contract you didn't get. He's a coward. Mm -hmm. He's a giant chicken chip. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's going to be like <laughs> hurricane. Whoa. Watch out for those girls. Um, they are gagging them. Hold the phone. Hold on. Bro. Ben, the more brutal you are, the more power you have. Right. That was sexy. It was hot. It was heated. I was into it. You are going to be the most high paid hooker in the world. <laughs> Go ahead and invite your friends and everybody. Tell your mama. Tell them, don't head, turn the stove off and get up on the computer so we can get <laughs> on the stream.tv. Thank you again for joining us. And until next week, bye bye. <laughs> And we're back. All right, so definitely check out all of those great shows on the stream.tv. It's really great. Hit that subscribe button right now. Just go ahead and click, click, and we'll be good. Now, real, <laughs> click, click. I have my, uh, like my magic piece of paper here that tells me the names of some people who are participating in our chat tonight. Yeah. And who doggy do we have so a lot many. of people? Um, so get comfortable. Uh, I'm going to do this quick, and I will do apologize <laughs> that I may butcher your names. And if so, tweet at me with pronunciation. Plow through Other it have super done fast. It. There's all right, a lot so of people who are in, in the chat with us right now digi destin five 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 oh nice spice nug the rever the reverend eternal sam clemens r-i-g-l louise guzman malo the kid buck pones mr tony one two three four five <laughs> gabby r theta's productions uh, creative Concepts, Ty Etienne Francis, um, Den247, Grim Jow Jagger Jack. Why? <laughs> my favorite, my favorite. <laughs> um, let's see, we've got X, Shmooey X, Diver X, Sam Misner, Hayer815, Jose Germosin, Ty Maciel, Nefrit Davis, Claudio Soares, and Poetus704. Whoa. Ah. I know some of those people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, all right. That was, that was Good job, Kevin. That was a doozy. That then, was. And that's because we love you guys. Like, thank you for being there with us. Because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So having you guys in this conversation with us is, is the best thing. It is, Kellen really wants you to join us all the time. So don't make Kellen sad. It makes us sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I love this feature. Okay. We should do this all the time. I love that that's a thing. So <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that we do throughout the week is we like to collect your questions <coughs> to us throughout the week and through the night. So we have a couple of questions from you guys. And for this, I need to go to da, 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 the Twitter box. All right. Our first question comes from at Hune Linda. And they said, do you think the city took over Mac to defend itself? Would the same have happened to Colson, who has GH325 in his blood? That question was answered. The, question, this, the first half of the question episode. was answered. Yeah. It got, because if you notice, nobody else who went down there got 
got all messed up like Mac did. They went down with the hazmat suit, but Coulson and Triplet went down there without and yeah. didn't get taken over. That's true. So it got Mac, it, it got its protector. Do you think that if Coulson had been the first one down there that it would have taken him? Oh, that's a, yeah. that's a really good theory. I, I mean, mean, it makes like, sense. It makes I sense think. for the for the first person that's on there that's not right. with the with that already in them right. for them to be the protector right. of that temple. Yeah, exactly. So I really like that. But do you think it would have happened to Coulson with the Kree blood in him? See, I don't think I don't it, it would have happened, happened to Coulson. Coulson but that's what's so. weird is because then yeah. Mac did attack Coulson. Yeah, and he didn't attack the other people that were born. With but their hat in them as well. But he, they'd never touch. He'd never touched the the diviner before. That's the thing. Both uh, uh, Reyna and Sky oh, had touched point. the diviner before they went down point. to the city. Yeah. So it they'd be already that. been chosen. They'd been officially chosen by the diviner. But right. The that is crystal true. inside of it. Interesting. Nice. So so that could, likes that theory. Good call. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know. <laughs> I I want now that we have another diviner. Or at least something that looks like another diviner. It'd be interesting if Coulson was the one to touch it. Yeah, well, I think that that goes to prove that uh, the diviners are the Terrigen crystals. Yeah, I think so. I think we're I think we're That's set it. with that. I mean, it, yeah. it'll be they have to bring up this whole GH three two five thing again in the la next half of season two. So. I think so. Right. Okay. Our next question from this week comes from at New Moby, and New Moby asks. Could Bobby be recruiting Hunter for Avengers West Coast or Mighty Avengers? Can that be the big secret between her and Mac? Kayla brought it up a little bit before. That is such a great question. Oh. But do you think that they're building West Coast Avengers? We had a couple people ask questions about, are they working for, for Fury still? Could those be tied together? Could they be working for Fury to set up West Coast? Mm. <laughs> that would make me so happy. Mark, Mark is excited. Mark yeah, is excited. I was a big West Coast Avengers fan. Yeah. When, yeah, back in the day. I wonder. I wonder if they. They're, I don't think they're calling it West Coast Avengers. I think it's just like a Plan B, because if they're setting up in a way where Age of Ultron, obviously the Avengers is falling apart. Mm -hmm. So if what if they're setting it up in a way where, it, uh, where that team is falling apart, so they're play, they're making a Plan B. For it's a very second team. team. Which is I mean, basically how West Coast to... Avengers was always exactly. treated. Was just yeah. <laughs> they always were a little bit like, hey, yeah. guys. <laughs> there's all, but there's also all these theories. What if they're actually working for Captain America? Because they were saying that it could be like for Secret Wars or um, that, that uh, he's, uh, Captain America is going to be assembling his own team. Mm -hmm. And that when Civil War starts, he already has his own team of agents, heroes, people that are following him in the search for oh. Bucky. So what if oh. the stick actually ha contains information about Bucky Barnes and what his location is and what his MO is and everywhere that he's been. So, so all about his past, he's going back to try and find himself, trying to figure out what his entire life that was all about. That could be interesting about. because that could be, yeah. Hartley could have been searching for Bucky info in the Hydra files. Yeah. Yes, like because the, the, the zip drive. The, the zip drive, and because yeah. they said that Hartley was working with them, she could, and she was looking for something in that thing. If she was looking for like Zola's notes for what he did right. to Bucky, yes. oh, yeah. and why not go directly, is, oh directly to the, to the source. source, which is Hydra? I like that. I like that. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be so fantastic. Good. This is why we love your questions, which is why we're <laughs> yeah. going to do another one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, Kayla, this next question you found. Yes. So I'm going to let you hit I your Twitter box. Um, do this, I want to say that? Let's do it. Okay, yeah. let's Shake do it. Shake it up, man. It's crazy. Oh, Shake my. Head, I can't say this. <laughs> At uh, Carl Haver Camp, uh, this was a live question. Did Agent Triplet really die at the end? I thought the actor who plays him is supposed to be uh, in a cameo in Avengers 2. Which was new. To me, yeah, I didn't know that either. Like, I'm a Myself huge included. Marvel fan, but I'm trying to avoid as many spoilers as possible about who may and may not show up. Right. So that's like that's the second question. Somebody yeah, else yeah. also tweeted that same exact question oh, really? about Triplet well, being having a cameo. Well, where I went with it, but but Demetrius actually said right before we went okay. on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's not forget that he is a he is a grandson of a Howling Commando and. Since Age of Ultron is about opening up a file, uh, uh, the Ultron project, that was something that was developed in the past. What if, and since I mean, Triplet was already an agent for, for S.H.I.E.L.D., what if during a flashback sequence he is introduced as one of the agents that was either in charge of, of the files, you know, or protecting the files of the Ultron project and all that, so we, we, when they go back, they show him. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I think that the Ultron project was developed by Hank Pym, yeah, and therefore, when they go back, 
they're gonna sh they're gonna show that. They're yeah, I think that's why we're gonna see Howard that. Stark in uh, exactly. Ant Man because we'll see right. them working together. Precisely. Mm -hmm. like, you this. disagree? Why? So that's I, I, I disagree. Flashback. I disagree yeah. in the sense that they uh, they uh, they said that um, Age of Shield is gonna tie into Age of Ultron, so maybe Triplet is that tie in. Maybe that could be cool. Right. I guess we have to wait till That'll May. Uh, go. <laughs> and our final That's question from far. you guys tonight comes from our live, tw uh, not Twitter chat, but our YouTube chat. And our live YouTube chat, this is a very interesting question, comes from Buck Pones, and they ask, hey, stream.tv, Agent Carter after show? Uh -huh. Question mark? I have, I have a challenge for everyone who wants an Agent Carter after show. I challenge you to, to tweet at the stream TV or comment on our episode. Um, do both. Do episode. everything that do you can. We all yeah. 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 need to do, do this. Facebook, Twitter, we want to do it. YouTube, yeah. I because want it's... you to tell us that you won Agent Carter after show. Yeah. Because that's okay. what we're here for, guys. That's what the whole network is here for, to yeah. serve you. So, so yeah. if it's what you want, Maybe we'll do we're it. All, yeah. we'll do it. And you do, saw those trailers, do right? We, do, we, like, oh, do we want to do it? Of course we want to do it. Do we we do do it. Do I mean, it's it's all, they're, all, they're both p uh, p pieces of the same puzzle, and we need to uh, cover you on both shows. <laughs> also, so, can you, you want the whole picture <laughs> to be complete, you got to ask it's for it. Also, crossover after show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can you survive until March without hearing me say Twitter box on a, re on a weekly basis? <laughs> no, I can't. Or us going nuts in general. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> Kellen. I'm gonna miss you, Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, uh, speaking of people we're gonna miss, <laughs> there are some fantastic people who have been in conversations with us throughout the week. So a couple of Twitter shout outs. Uh, if you're looking to increase your follow list, go ahead and check these people out. Uh, it is at E R B Y X, at the Jack Morley, at Josh Rathmel, at Shield Brazil, and at Wandering underscore Lily. These are some people who have been talking to us throughout the week, throughout the whole first half of the For season. The whole, yeah. And that's, we want that. We want you guys to talk to us so that we can have another list of names that's ridiculously <laughs> long for me to say because the more of you that are it's in the gonna conversation take about five minutes. the better we feel because that means that we're hanging out with our buddies whether you're on one side of the world or the other and yeah. that's the joy of what we're doing next here. episode we're just going to list the names that's of people 40 that minutes of me <laughs> saying names 40 minutes of me saying names and we're going to so. be like I'm sorry folks we didn't have enough time to talk about the episode but thank you for tuning in luckily we're doing that episode in the middle of February when there is no Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Uh, so and as always definitely check out our friends at at S.H.I.E.L.D. Radio and and they're uh, fantastic, uh, helicarrierpodcast.com. Kayla, don't you have something you want to say about Helicarrier? I do have something to say about helicarierpodcast.com. Oh, well, well, um, okay, you guys, so I'm going to be on the okay. Helicarrier podcast what? next Wednesday, December 17th. Um, it's going to be with Andy from At Shield Radio and from uh, with Terry from zap2it.com. So go ahead and make sure to follow them at Shield Radio and check out www.helicarrierpodcast.com to watch the podcast, to listen to the podcast, not watch. <laughs> listen to the podcast on December 17th because I will be on it. Which is fantastic. Yay, so while we may not be back for a while, there will be plenty of opportunities for us to nerd out together. Thank you guys so much for taking this journey with us. It has been 11 amazing episodes oh, yeah. of talking to you guys about something that we absolutely love. And I cannot wait a single minute to start doing it again. So thank you, everybody. We'll be back in March declassifying a whole second half of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If not Until January then. for <laughs> Agent Carter. That's oh, the challenge. So I'm on counting on you guys. Hashtag. Hashtag A-O-S-A-S. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. We love you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you then. Good night. Bye. Good night.